Hi guys, we're Jenny here and I'm back with another 12x12 12 12 process video for you today. Just showing you the photos, that's of Edison and I, um, Hamish was there as well. Uh, but we went to Te Manawa Museum and they had a dinosaur exp expedition on. <laughs> and um, they had these ginormous, like, robotic dinosaurs and um, Eddie, of course, did not like it. She, um, <laughs> uh, being scared of everything, <laughs> uh, was freaking out. So we had to carry her the whole time, but uh, managed to snap a few photos of us and her actually smiling. So, um, yeah. So this is the 6x6 uh, crepe paper, cool kid uh, paper pad that I found at Spotlight. Um, the other day, it's probably a couple of weeks ago uh, by the time this goes <laughs> on to YouTube, but anyway, um, and I grabbed it because it had some dinosaurs on it. Granted, it didn't have a lot. Uh, once I actually got it home and had a look through, there was two 6x6 paper pads with these little dinosaurs, um, a couple of ones that had the word dinosaur and um, a couple that I could cut out some bits from. So what I've done is just cut out the two little dinosaur bits. I've cut off the newsprint bit that says uh, dinosaur and pulled out the two pieces of paper with the dinosaurs on. And yeah, I'm going to do some fussy cutting. Um, I'm going to cut out about one and a half sheets of little dinosaurs. I, at this point, didn't know where I was going um, because I thought that there would be a lot more dinosaur bits in it, but um, clearly there wasn't. So um, a good point to start is just f to fussy cut, I guess. <laughs> um, I'm using the cut file. The cut file is called Geometric T-Rex. It's one of Paige Evans' ones. You'll find it at the Silhouette store. And yeah, um, it's just come out, but perfect for this um, because I've got photos of a giant T-Rex. So there we go, I've fussy cut out a bunch of little tiny dinosaurs and while I was doing it I decided they might make good shaker elements instead of just sequins. So yeah, I'm going to trim down my photos and um, I do fuss around with my background for a little bit. I cut out some of it. I tried some of these 6x6 paper pads. I thought it might be because I felt like white on white was going to be a bit ugh, boring. And I was going to back the um, dinosaur with white cardstock so that you could see those dinosaurs inside it. <clears throat> Excuse me, really clearly. Um, but then, yeah, like I said, white on white wasn't really doing it. So I'm trying to find two. I wanted two of the yellow, but there wasn't two of the yellow. So I end up putting out the two black and white um, with the white crosses and then two with this kind of triangle geometric print thing. And I try them on the background, but it's just not not doing it for me. So, um, yeah. Anyway, we'll watch me fluff around with this for a little bit <laughs> and then we'll skip forward to when I start doing my shaker pocket. No, too much going on. Radio. Um, here I am, I've got a piece of acetate and I'm just going to put glue uh, all over the back of that uh, T-Rex. Um, around the entire outline and then on just some of the inside lines. I just want to make sure the inside lines uh, stick down a bit. It's not going to bulge, but I do want it around the outline area. So, skip through. There we go. All glued. I'm going to adhere it to that acetate. And then I'll just trim around the outside um, so that there's no overhang of the acetate sheet. And I will skip forward. It won't make you watch me <laughs> cut things out. Okay, well, yeah, that's done. So now, because I'm making a shaker pocket, I have to do adhesive foam around the entire length. You want no gaps, especially if you're going to put sequins in, no gaps around that border, otherwise things are going to fall out. So I'm just cutting off a few thin strips. This, this um, foam has adhesive on just one side. So if I cut it thin, take off that backing strip, then it makes it really pliable, as you can see here, um, me just kind of manoeuvring it around the, the teeth. Um, very easy to do. So I do that around the entire outside <clears throat> and it's done. So I am going to put a few sequins in um, just to kind of break it up and it, they sh hope, I'm hoping that they may help with the movement of a few of the dinosaurs but and for the most part I don't want the dinosaurs to move too much um, otherwise they will end up clumping together and looking a bit of a mess. So I'm loosely tracing around this dinosaur uh, with a pencil. 
just so I know that the basic shape and I can place all my bits and pieces on it. Uh, I'm going to put all my little dinosaurs back in place inside the outline of the pencil. You can't really see the pencil, sorry. Um, but yeah, just popping them in place. Making sure to keep things away from the edge of that pencil line, otherwise I'm going to get stuck. Um, but ultimately I do have to pull out a few little rogue sequins. So just filling in some of the gaps. And I will glue down a couple, um, just to make sure some stay in place. <coughs> so just picking a few random ones. <coughs> I'll glue that green one down and another one over there and one at the top to show that they do if they do end up moving or falling to the bottom of the page then there is still some kind of floating inside okay just pushing them in from the edge and I'm going to add some sequins now so I've got some clear sparkly iridescent ones and they're in kind of there's a large, a medium and a small in this pack so I'm just kind of dotting them around the place filling in some of the gaps and then I'm going to add some gold and then I will add some of those lovely teal coloured ones as well into the mix I did contemplate putting some red ones in, but the red sequins that I had I didn't particularly like. Um, so, <laughs> and I felt like it might veer towards uh, like Christmas colours <laughs> a bit too much. <laughs> okay, right, I'm going to put glue around the entire uh, length of this foam on the outside of the dinosaur. And that's all done. Now flip it over and just pop it in place. And there goes me pulling a few little rogue sequins out that were sticking out. Tidy it up a bit, radio. Okay, now I do end up just leaving this overnight with, I think, I think I put my sequin container on it just so it would lie flat. And then I trimmed it out. Um, pretty simple process um, but it's nice and dry and my little dinosaurs haven't all clumped up in one spot so that's cool so I decided I didn't want of course a white background and I went through some of my dear Lizzie lovely day collection and the way I'm showing you um, I, I was I really like the black um, that black um, with the white crosses on it from this collection actually kind of sparked this idea to use a black <laughs> uh, pattern paper on my background. I've never done this before, um, but I really liked it for this layout. And because the photos are so dark, and it just kind of goes with it, really. Um, so yeah, it's black with some little white hearts, and yeah. So I've got my photos. I'm going to back them. I want to bring some colour onto the page. So I've got this uh, kind of like journal paper, um, and I've just used my little... Fisker's um, hole punch notebook punch thing and just done the edges of that make it look a bit rough like it's torn out of a page and then I'm going to bring in some yellow with the 6x6 pattern paper so I'm going to trim that off and then I'm going to add this a triangle print because it's got a bunch of colours in it so I'm going to tear the edge just to bring a bit of texture so there's not going to be a lot else going on on the page. So I want this kind of photo mat to be quite textural and interesting. Um, and really pop off that dark background. A bit of red, because there is some red dinosaurs inside the T-Rex. And there is some red on that triangle pattern paper. And I think that'll be my final layer. I did tear a couple of the edges of that. I think I've gone off to find a gold paper paper clip yep um, I just wanted something something else up there and a paper clip felt fitting radio so I'll adhere all those layers together put my paper clip back and I pop these two little cutouts in place so one on either side this brings a bit of interest <clears throat> and here's my little dinosaur newsprint I'm going to tuck that in as a layer up there and I quite like it so I'm going to glue it down 
excuse my big head. <clears throat> I'll glue these bits down. And then I'm going to glue the entire cut file down, which is a pretty easy process. Okay, I wanted just a little bit more of something, and I felt like this world map um, pattern paper would bring a bit of texture onto the page, and felt quite fitting, I guess. We're at a museum, <laughs> in excuse. Um, but yeah, so I've just tucked that in at the top, and tearing the edge brings more texture. I'm going to fussy cut, cut a Oh gosh, it's been a long day guys, <laughs> it's about uh, 20 past 5, I should be cooking tea, <laughs> but I'm not, I'm doing a voiceover, I'll get to tea in a minute. I'm going to fussy cut uh, three more of these little dinosaurs out, um, I should have cut it out, sorry, so I've got a little red T-Rex and a little, um, is it a Stegosaurus, one of the spikes, and then a... Um, a little triceratops, the one, yeah, the blue one with the horn. I'm going to pop one of them up on foam just to bring a bit of dimension. And cut out the little triceratops as well. So this is basically my ephemera. <laughs> because I have nothing else with this collection or nothing else that was dinosaurs. But yeah, I really like this layout. It's quite uh, boyish. Um, I've been having a lot of fun with boy layouts lately. Um, but I think it goes with the photos uh, very well and proud that I didn't have to uh, resort to buying a ton of ephemera and die cuts which is what I normally put on my <laughs> layouts but just kept it quite simple I kind of let the cut file speak for itself I guess okay I'm going to sprinkle a few sequins around the page I'm just dotting a bit of glue and then just adding sequins into the mix there we go it's all done and I'm going to put my title down with some gold thickers, bringing a bit more gold, it's just going to be raw. <laughs> I don't know whether this is how you spell raw, but in my head this is how you spell it. <laughs> there we go, exclamation mark. And I, there's some little gold funny shapes in there on the thicker set, so I thought I would dot them around the page as well. And my little scatterings of sequins. I'm going to add a few enamel dots as well. So I think I go with the teal and the white. So I'm going to dot them around those little scatters of sequins as well. <clears throat> this is just helping to add a bit of interest to that very dark background. And yeah, kind of make up for my lack of embellishing, I guess. Just dotting them around. And then I'm going to do some sprinkles of gold Heidi Swap Colour Shine again around those little sprinkles. And to break up that background and then lastly I just add uh, to bring in a bit of texture and a bit of a difference I just put some glossy accents over those three little fussy cut dinosaurs that I've um, added to the page um, just to add a, a bit of difference um, yep here I am trying to find it <laughs> and I'm trying to find my pin to unblock it there we go it's working now so yeah glossy accents just on the top of them add another texture and then that'll be it for my layout so i hope you enjoyed the process and i will see you guys next time bye